thank you for staying with us. In less than a month, residents of Edo State will be going to the polls to elect a new governor. The Independent National Electoral Commission has fixed 12th of September for the signing of the peace accord to ensure a smooth exercise. Chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, made this known as an extraordinary meeting with political parties ahead of the election. Professor Yakubu mentions that the peace accord signing was moved to an earlier date to enable the peace committee monitor compliance with the code. The signing of the peace accord for the Edo State Governorship election will take place on Thursday, 12th September 2024 in Benin City. Supported by eminent members of the peace committee, the chairman will, the occasion will be presided over by the chairman, General Abu Salami Abubakar. You may notice that unlike the previous peace accords signed a few days to the election, it was decided to do so early this time around to enable the peace committee to monitor compliance with the court voluntarily signed by parties, candidates, and other critical players in the electoral process, such as INEC and the security agencies. There is no place for politics of bitterness and violence that has impeded the nation's hard and democracy. So it is time to change the narrative. It is time for patriotism. It is time to strengthen and deepen, advance our democracy. It is a collective task in the quest for a strong, united, progressive, prosperous, equitable, and just democratic society. The All Progressives Congress, just like other political parties, is making efforts to get the support of residents in Edo State. The party has promised to end the issue of multiple taxation if elected in the next uh, governorship election. Iken Amichi reports. In the past eight years, the alleged issue of multiple taxation has been a persistent problem in Edo State with businesses and residents burdened by excessive and redundant taxes imposed by the present administration of Governor Godwin Obaseki. Experts say this has resulted in heavy financial burden on businesses, ultimately stifling economic growth and development. If you pay for the Ugosipia or Concerned over the negative impact of multiple taxation, the APC leadership, while addressing crowd of supporters, promised to prioritize this issue when elected in the forthcoming governorship election. We are coming to build a fresh structure for you. Yeah. We are going to stop tickets. Yeah. Where, where are they collecting multiple tickets from you people? Yeah. So we will not vote them again because they are taking all of our money away. Yeah. They collect your ticket here. Collect your ticket here. Collect your ticket here. Is it good? Hey, I can't be me loud. This is the Kelegele port. Rain is not running now, you have this water. If you let me give for what is going to happen. So all you are doing, if you watch out for television now, he will tell you, I don't GDP, don't go. Uh, we have done this, we have done that. But on ground, you will not see anything. Everything you are doing is paperwork. To collect money from federal government, to collect money from World Bank, you have been borrowing. But you can see the condition of your road. This one is not as bad though. The one I saw yesterday, we cry for those people living on that road. Our candidate is different from their own. They are all artificial. Artificial intelligence. That is what they call them. At AI, artificial intelligence. We don't know about the people who artificial now, original. This promise has become a key talking point and a defining issue for many voters as the campaign team interacts with business owners at Cook Road, Upper Mission Extension, Igun, amongst others. The residents and businesses now eagerly await to see how the APC will deliver on their promise and bring an end to this persistent problem.
Let's now turn attention to security. The director of defense media operations says troops have killed at least 16 terror kingpins in operations across the country. Major General Edward Buba insists the military will continue to act with the relevant level of force required to dismantle terror groups. Sifon Isien reports. Security challenges in the country have taken different turns in the last month. The rescue of 20 medical students and seven others in Benue State is a morale booster for security forces. Military troops took out 16 terror kingpins and 419 others. Troops neutralized 419 terrorists across all theaters of operations. They arrested 767 suspects while rescuing 448 kidnapped hostages. But the recent killing of a traditional leader of Gobir in Sokoto State is an indication that the threats are evolving. When I watched that video, I was moved. And I wish all Nigerians would be moved to taking the bull by the horn as we go against the terrorists. How many are they compared to us? If it's bullets that they have, how many do they have compared to what we have? I repeat it again. Winning this war is not just about the military, our equipment, or finances. It largely depends on the people. Security forces are on high alert to forestall any breach in security, especially around the affirmations. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja. Elsewhere, as part of efforts to regulate prices of food items and other commodities, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission has warned traders exploiting residents to desist or risk jail term. The FCCPC held a critical key players engagement to address issues of price fixing and consumer exploitation in Nigeria. Ulo Yemachi has more. Representatives from various product and service agencies across Nigeria gathered at the call of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. The Executive Commissioner of Operations condemned the current market prices as unacceptable and misleading. He says under the FCCPC Act, business owners found guilty of price fixing could face fines or even imprisonment. The Act that establishes the FCCPC, that the FCCP uh, 2018, gives us the powers to do what it is that we are doing and to call people to order. We can go to jail for doing what we are doing. The executive vice chairman and CEO of the FCCPC, Mr. Tunji Bello, revealed that recent surveys conducted by the commission uncovered troubling trends. Check, just a few years ago, at the popular supermarket in Texas, United States, revealed that the fruit blender called Ninja is displayed on the shelf at $89, roughly about 140000 naira. The same product made by the same manufacturer was displayed at the popular supermarket at Victoria Island in Lagos at Naira 44,999. The floor was then open for responses with exchange rates and custom duties being highlighted as key factors driving high food prices. I let some people, especially in the north, pay to this uh, bandit to come and cultivate. As we all know that exchange rate is very common, everybody knows. Additional assurances were given to strengthen consumer protection and confidence. I don't need some it's on top of me. If there is low duty on those imported goods, it means the price of imported goods, you producer, local producers, cannot compete with the international market. Association heads of various groups in Nigeria have voiced their concerns on the challenges they face. And with the Consumer Protection Agency clearly drawing a firm line, the challenge now may be for these groups to find a balance where the rights of Nigerians are continually protected amidst economic hardships. Uloma Oyemachi, TVC News, Abuja.